hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is tv kenza james our new subscribers you're welcome our old subscribers you're all welcome and i love you all so in today's video just like you can see in the topic of today we are not going to be doing how to cut this how to sew this how to do this that's not what we are doing so today i'm going to be talking to you about whether or not an industrial sewing machine would be better or a domestic sewing machine so i'm just talking to you about um what sewing machine to start if you're starting your fashion business or your fashion career or you're just learning so this video is for everybody interested in sewing and fashion designing generally so guys i'm going to be starting with the industrial sewing machine as you all know this is what i use and this this is the particular machine i use um is email this is not a paid partnership or anything like that but i kind of trust this brand so most times that's what i work with even when i have to recommend this brand for somebody the, any brand for somebody i usually do email or two lines so those are the machines i work with and then you all know i'll be running you through the advantages of using an industrial machine and the disadvantages then I'll also run you through the advantages of a, a blackhead domestic sewing machine and the other domestic sewing machine, which is also an electric sewing machine. I don't have that at the moment, but I'll just run you through. But for this one, the first thing is the industrial sewing machine. Anything industrial, when you hear industrial, it means it's more durable because it's for industrial use. So it's... It will last longer and it's more durable generally. So durability is um, the first thing. Second thing about the industrial sewing machine is the speed. So if like you have um, a time frame that you need to sew something and it will help you to achieve that speed, right? So speed also is a very fast machine. So most times you can see when I'm sewing, I usually don't even match the machine or use the fastest of its, teach, its teaching. But still, you can see, you can see how you can see how how the needle is moving, which means it's really really fast. So that is it. And then, thirdly, it's easy to use. So this industrial straight sewing machine is a very easy machine to use, unlike the domestic uh, manual machine where you have to be like working your your foot a lot this one does not require it just requires you putting your feet on the paddle and just match it a little it would work but for the domestic uh, manual machine you have to be working your your foot like that like that like that so it's kind of stressful so this one is easier and it makes your job and then some for some reason i feel like this machine gives neater stitches which is not is not let me just say it's not scientifically proven but i just feel that way the domestic machine can still give you very clean stitches if the settings are right and you know how to work work with that it will also give you something nice right so those are the advantages for me then for the disadvantages even that speed that is still of the advantage side, it can still be at the disadvantage side because sometimes you don't really need that speed. What you require is like you, you want to be in control of what you're doing. Sometimes you might not really be in total control of your machine working with the industrial straight swing machine because sometimes the speed just gets like really, really crazy. So the speed also is also in the advantage and is also in the disadvantages so the second disadvantage of this machine is the pricing we all know that most times when we want to go into this fashion business it's not like if it's not like you have like big capital to start with maybe you just want to start small and all that or you don't have enough money to put into it you you these machines they are quite expensive compared to the domestic ones so i think the price of this one can buy like two or more domestic sewing machines so this one the price is a little bit higher just like this industrial machine 
Then the third reason, which is very, very peculiar to us in Nigeria, is electricity. This is completely an electric machine. It doesn't use any, it cannot use, it, there's no way it can be powered without electricity. And we all, for those of us who are in Nigeria, we have challenges of um, power supply. The power supply here is not that good. So that's another problem you will encounter using uh, an industrial sewing machine. But if you can, if you have to use it, and you don't have um, the domestic sewing machine and you would have to provide maybe a generator that you can be running or I don't know if there's a solar power panel that can power this or any source of electricity you will also be considering the cost of getting um, another source of power to power the machine so once you have this you don't, and you're in Nigeria you automatically know that you have to get a generator that is big enough to power this machine as well right that's another disadvantage i've talked about price i've talked about um, power supply i've talked about um, speed so basically i think that is it for the advantage and the disadvantages of this industrial machine so we'll go into the domestic um, machine so guys i have another machine here this is the domestic sewing machine this is a domestic manual sewing machine we have the domestic electric sewing machines which are also like the industrial sewing machines they, they are fast drive machines they are they are just smaller they are cheaper so it's like the inexpensive version of the industrial sewing machine and those ones i kind of like them because they are they, they minimize space so as you can see i don't have a lot of space that i'm working with so they kind of they don't consume space as much as this machine or the industrial machine would do so that would work fine for me as well so for this one you can see is um is domestic so you can actually use this also as an electric machine when you buy this um this um this other stuff i don't know the mo this other motor here it has a smaller motor you can see let me just flip it you can see okay see it on this one this is the motor side here so you can just buy this and attach to the machine this one also has as well you can see the motor here then you just get um, the pedal where you just pedal that okay so you can also use that that is one advantage of this machine is that you can also use it as an electric machine and also in the absence of electricity you can use this so that is it and then this one the speed is what you can control you can see when you're paddling this you have total control over the speed you can see so you can control the speed of this one and this one is not as expensive as the domestic machine i think the price of the domestic machine can buy two or more of this machine so this is this is kind of cheap let me not say cheap, but it's more affordable, affordable for for someone who just wants to start. So basically, it's just the power supply is available on this and the speed also. Then it's actually cheaper to buy. So for the domestic um, electric machine, I like that machine a lot. I think I'm going to get that one of these days. The, the thing about that is it has other functions on the machine you can see it can do button hole it has a zigzag stitch and one or two designing stitches that um, so I kind of prefer that over the both of these machines but because of that um, electricity issue if you're where you can't find electricity this will be a better start if you're where your electric your power supply is not that good this one would be a better option for you because you might not end up working because of the power issue if you decide to go for an industrial machine or the uh, domestic electric machine but i like the domestic electric machine because of the other functions that it has like the buttonhole the zigzag stitch i think cover stitch it has so many stitches and designs designing stitch so it has all those ones that this one does not have and the industrial machine does not have as well so if you're if you're just going into the business and if you would ask me 
just weigh your options before you proceed to buy a machine you have to ask yourself where i live is there electricity enough for me to work like if you can get if you're where you can get up to eight hours in a day it's fine you can get the, the domestic um the, either the domestic electric machine or the industrial sewing machine then the second thing is can i afford the industrial machine if you can afford the industrial machine is a good thing to have as well then am i going to be doing work that involve other stitches like the button hole all those things will you be sewing shirts and all those things and you don't have enough money to buy the two machines at the time i'll, I'll just advise you buy the domestic manual machine so but if you're somewhere where there's no light then you would you would actually this one would be a better option for you guys so this is it about um our sewing machines i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give me a thumbs up share this video with your friends subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i have a new video up on the channel see you in my next video guys bye